Ciao guys and welcome back, it's your friend Luca and in today's video I will show you how to properly slow down your 4K video footage up to 50% or sometimes even more. And to make it happen you don't need to film your videos in 4K 50 frames per second or 60 frames per second. So this video tutorial is going to be really helpful if you own one of the Panasonic Lumix S cameras or the latest Sony A7 IV. In reality I could have slowed down this video clip even more but uh, I didn't want to make this video tutorial endless so we're gonna stick with 50% uh, slow motion. As we can see this video clip has filmed at 30 frames per second and has a duration of 9 seconds. We will start creating a new timeline and uh, we will change the timeline frame rate to 23.97 fps and the resolution to 4k we will now right click on the interested clip we want to slow down and we go in clip attributes and we change the video frame rate to 23.97 in this way we have already extended the clip by two seconds and that's pretty much 20 percent slow motion we go to retime and scaling and we change the retime process to optical flow and motion estimation to speed warp if your GPU is not strong enough to handle the speed warp, I suggest you to try one of the options that are above the speed warp and see what is giving you a good result. Then I like to go in the color page and convert the footage from log to rec 709 so I can easily spot some possible artifacts that can show up in the footage. In this case I use one of my drag and drop LUTs that are available to download from the link I'll put in the description. These LUTs are available both for Sony, Panasonic and Canon. Now we go in the export page and we select one of the looseless codecs that are available in our video editing software. I am ok to use the Avid codex but if you like to use ProRes or any other type of codex feel free to do it. After we exported our video clip that is lowered down by 20%, we bring it in the timeline to give a second round of slow motion. Yes, my friends, that's the best way to slow down your video footage without having the problem of seeing too many artifacts going on in your frame. Now that we slow down the video to 40%, we can start to see some artifacts in the video. Even if this video clip is pretty complex because the air are pretty wild because of the strong wind, there is one visible artifact that we can fix with a simple procedure. We select and isolate the frame we are seeing the artifact, we go in the color page and we select the power window tool, we make a mask around the artifact, we move the power window to the side of it and then we go in the sizing page. We select node sizing and we move the mask on top of the artifact. We will need to smooth the power window and adjust the mid detail and the gamma to match the mask with the footage. So this method is gonna work good enough if you're gonna film people but if you plan to film uh, uh, complex videos where there is a lot of motion for example like uh, foliage or waves, particles floating around uh, or coffee beans and you plan to do extreme slow motion for those video clips, I suggest you to avoid it and uh, just stick with a 20% slow motion because this procedure is gonna be a really time consuming and I don't think it's worth to spend that much of the time. It's better to film maybe in 1080p 60 frames per second and then upscale it in post. Or if you own the Lumix S cameras or the Sony 7 IV, just film in 4K 60 with the crop and uh, live with it. But one more time, if you're planning to film people or simple uh, scenes, this method is gonna work uh, good enough. Anyway, if you're not so sure about the motion that is going on in the frame and you want to play safe, I suggest you to increase the shutter speed of your camera. In that way, your camera is gonna record sharp frames without motion blur and that's gonna help a lot the optical flow algorithm of the software and in that way you're gonna have less artifacts. So whenever you want to play safe, you can increase the shutter speed up to let's say one of 200 in that way you're gonna be pretty safe and don't worry much about the motion blur because you can always add it in post and i'm gonna show you how to do it we can keep going with the slow motion until we reach the limit or the desired effect that's up to you but once we got the final render i suggest to add some motion blur to your footage so it will look like we are using the 180 degree shutter angle rule to have a natural motion blur generally the value of three or 4 is a good pick, but you can play with this value until you achieve the desired look. Like always, if you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment area below, and if you like the video, I will really appreciate if you can show it with a thumb up. 
So this is it for today guys, thank you so much for watching and have fun with your next uh, slow motion videos you're gonna create. Ciao!